Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> Two of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. This could be literal or it could be metaphoric. You purchase something like an investment. You have no idea. You think it really didn't make any difference, but it did. So let's say, you, you know, it could be stocks or something like that, or it was something of value. Somebody may have something that they don't even realize is valuable. And this could be literal. It could be metaphoric. So let's say if it's, um, because these are all pentacles. Let's say it's, it's something money. You don't even think it's really worth anything. Hold on to it. You know, it might be get it appraised. Um, maybe you're about to purchase something or you feel like, you know, it was kind of a waste of money. I don't think it is. On the other hand, if this is spiritual, somebody doesn't realize how valuable they are spiritually. King of Swords. Can't share this one. Five of Pentacles. Mm. So things are going good for you and not so good for somebody else. Somebody feels probably spiritually and emotionally bankrupt. Meanwhile, you're ringing the cash cow. I don't know why that, where that came from. Six of Wands. Yeah, you're doing very good. All right. So what's... Okay. Four of Swords. Somebody's been cut off. So somebody could have been cut off from family. Maybe they had like an inheritance or something like that coming to them. I'm getting all kinds of stuff. So somebody... So let's say it was part of this, it was kind of like a clause. You know, you had to cut somebody off in order to inherit something. To gain something. This could be literal or metaphoric. I keep getting that. I keep getting that something, it, for it could be literal or metaphoric. I really keep getting those words. So let's say you cut off a particular person. And since you did that, Things are actually manifesting the way that you want it. It's like I've discussed before. It's kind of like that ebb and flow of the universe. We all have our season. So somebody that has been... I get, I'm getting that whoever this other person is, things have been going good for them for a very, very long time. Maybe the last five years. And they had been working on money, building. But you, on the other hand, had gotten the short end of the stick. Now take it however it is for you. You were the other person. So... Wow. I'm getting some strange harvesting energy. Harvesting energy. Somebody has been harvesting your energy. And they've been using your energy in order to succeed. Succeed. So somebody is truly gifted and truly special. Okay? Spiritually very gifted and very spiritually protected and very spiritually wealthy but they don't even know it they don't even know it so whenever you go around people oh this is an interesting reading whenever you go around people good things happen to them people tend to take advantage of that though and let's say you really haven't had very much and everyone else kind of it's it's kind of like you give so much, even energetically. You have this special magic inside of you, whoever this is. There is this special magic inside of you. 
And wherever you go, you uplift. And you li literally are like a lucky charm. You bring luck into people's lives. So, in doing that, you've been giving away all of your luck. You've been exhausting everything of yourself. And you've kept nothing for yourself. Prometheus. I keep hearing Prometheus. Prometheus. I have to look into, look into that again. It's just been so long. Anyway. It's kind of like when you're giving out things to people. You keep reaching in the bag and you give it to people. And then you're like, okay, now I can have my share. You reach in the bag and it's empty. So, you've been expending so much of your energy, so much of your time because you're so gifted. But it's naturally inside of you to be gifted and to help others. But you did not know that you weren't even using this gift or this power, this superpower. You weren't even using it properly. So, and somebody's like literally maturing on so many different levels, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. With that, this person could be realizing, because the Five of Pentacles can be like a dark night of the soul or awakening. At least for me. So, you could be, you could have gone through a lot of this and realizing, hey, I've been giving so much and I haven't gotten anything. And you know what? It's time for me to start utilizing what I have naturally instead of depending on others or trying to help and uplift others. It's not in, in a sense, there's a two swords. It's not in a sense of being selfish or not doing what you're supposed to be doing. However, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing unless you're helping yourself first. Because if you're depleted, what do you have to give? If people keep using you and then go off, and then leave you abandoned. That's not really how it's supposed to work. You're not a dumping ground. If we go back to the original story. <clears throat> with all that in mind. You have removed yourself. And decided to start pouring into yourself. And investing in yourself. Now that has caused the tide to turn. Now things are going for you and you've removed yourself from certain situations where people were taking advantage, using you, harvesting your energy. What does harvesting your energy mean? You know, sometimes people need a pick me up. What happens whenever you're feeling down or depressed? Sometimes you might call a certain friend. And say, hey, you know what? I need you to make me laugh because you always make me laugh. You always make me feel good. That's kind of, in a sense, kind of harvesting energy. It's not like somebody's actually like, like literally sucking something like an alien movie. <laughs> you know, but in layman's terms, it's pretty much what that is. You know, and it doesn't mean that you're being selfish. I mean, some people have it to give. But some people know that whenever they get something good from you, let's say you have a lot of wisdom, natural wisdom. Let's say there's something very magical or beautiful about you. People will see that in you and they'll continue to harvest it. And they'll try to get your ideas. And then they suck everything that they can out of you by being kind or being sweet. And you're thinking that you're helping them or that they need your help. So they're harvesting all that you have to give, which is actually yours. You're not allowing them to actually tap into their own energy to find their own special power. This is kind of all over the place, but that's what it is. And there's this realization that somebody's finally started to put into themselves. <clears throat> With that, you've made other people dependent on that energy. When you do that, they can no longer carry on. They can't continue because, you know, um, 
the, the, the focal point, the main person that they were getting all the ideas from, everything, all the good luck from, is gone. So now they don't even know how to tap into their own, tap, tap into their own energy. Their mission has been, is, is being failed. It's, it's like abort, abort mission. So let's say they had something that they were supposed to do in this life, even though you were helping this person, but you weren't, you, you kind of handicapped them by giving too much. Okay. Whew. This has gotten deep. Anyway, that's what's happened here. So this is your season. And it's not like it's 100% your fault. Don't feel guilty about that. Not at all. This is happening when it's supposed to. You know, sometimes people need to learn to stand on their own two feet. However that is, I feel like this person probably has had a, a good run for a long time. They've had lots of good things happening to them. They've had got lots of good luck. They're like, hey, you know, I need your, I need your guidance. You know, I need your good words. And you're like, sometimes there's people out there that are very magical and just their words are so empowering that it helps people to continue. When you take that away and start putting it into yourself so that you can actually do what it is that you're meant to do, then that other person's like, hey, I need that person again. I need their energy. You know, bring it back. Now this person's going through their downfall, their dark night of the soul. They're actually at the very beginning of their journey now. Okay. You're good though. You're doing good. Page of cups. Wheel of fortune. You're just getting started. 